Springy I just went GA this week, and honestly, those are incredible news. As a Spring developer, you are uniquely positioned to build AI-powered apps, and here, five reasons why. First, Spring has a ton of AI model choices. It supports more than 15 models, including Anthropic, OpenAI, Google Gemini, and others. You can switch between them without changing your business logic. You can even use multiple models in the same app by configuring multiple chat clients. The reason number two, it's one-stop config shop. The nice thing is you don't have to learn the specifics of OpenAI Cloud or other providers. Spring handles that for you. You can configure the models using Spring interface and you're good to go. Reason number three, extensive vector support. Spring supports more than 15 vector databases out of the box. That makes it super easy to set up RUG which stands for Retrieval Augmented Generation. In simple terms, it means giving your LLM access to your own data so it can answer questions it normally wouldn't know the answer to. Number four, it's cutting edge support for MCP, which stands for Model Context Protocol. You can think of MCP as an API built specifically for AI models, so they can call tools, fetch data, and actually do things, not just respond with text. Spring AI was the first Java framework to support it. The team even donated the Java SDK, which is now listed as the official SDK for MCP. CP. And number five, it is great documentation. Spring AI docs don't just explain how to use the framework, they actually teach AI engineering. You'll find sections on prompts, memory, tool call and rag, and much more. I'll have the link to the official Spring AI documentation in the description down below. And if you like this video, like and subscribe for more Spring tips.